What's going on my dream team? Dave and the star of Dave's Cards Sunday. Coming back at you with a wide variety of hobby packs. Uh, we haven't done a random hobby pack break in a little while, uh, but went down to the, the LCS here, Strike Zone in Petaluma, and picked up some stuff. John always has some older stuff hanging around, and these are things I've been seeing for a while and wanted to do a, a, a random hobby pack opening because there's really good variety. So, um, starting us off, we're gonna have some 04 SP Authentic. Looking for, you know, those Big Bens, Eli, and Philip Rivers rookies, along with some Fleer Genuine. I think we've done this on the channel before. Uh, it came from the same box. Additionally, we got some Tops Chrome. So we got some 2010 uh, and 2009. Nothing amazing coming out of these in terms of those draft classes. You know, Gronk's probably the best guy of 2010, and 2009, probably Stafford, right? Um, maybe we can get lucky and get a, a Brady refractor of some sort. Additionally, we got some certified, a couple thick packs of 14 certified and a really thin pack of 15 certified. And then we got something I've never seen before. It was actually kind of hiding way in the back behind some other boxes. Uh, 20, 20, 2010 Epics. I think that's how you would say it. Epics from Panini. So, um, Looking for some, maybe some, some Tebow love there. Pretty cool. Um, and then 2012 Prism. I have busted packs of this from the same box head hanging around um, on the channel before. We pulled a Foles hollow rookie that was super off-centered and a Patrick Willis, I believe, uh, hollow. And the, the silvers back then were super rare, super tough to get. Um, so not expecting anything out of these packs. I think we'll kind of go in, in this order. Uh, let's start with the 2004 stuff. So 2004, Fleer Genuine. And the nice thing sometimes about doing some of these older products, if you can get lucky enough to get an auto when you're doing random packs like this, Sometimes you can get some really cool legendary veteran ones. And Fleer didn't have redemptions. Ha <laughs> ha. Actually, I may be wrong on that. I think they used to have some of the mail-in ones for some older stuff, if I remember right. But, all right. Fleer Dominion, or Genuine, sorry. Carson Palmer. Tiki Barber. Brian Erlacher. Randy Mall. That one looks a little dirty. Yeah. And Edron James. Uh, speaking of dirt, some of these packs have been sitting there so long they had dust on them, like a layer of dust, wipe your finger off. Uh, so I actually took these packs, <laughs> took some um, just paper towel, you know, got it damp, wiped them down, and probably went through about four of them. And there was definitely some dirt, uh, you know, but they've been sitting in boxes for, for a long time. And he has moved stores or locations the last couple of years. So I think some stuff was just kind of sitting around. And of course, everybody's looking for the new stuff, but. Older things are, are fun to check out every once in a while. Ooh, looks like we might have an insert there, quarterback. Andre Johnson. Oh, it's a Brady! <laughs> that is super cool. I was not expecting that. Wow. Genuine article, 2004. Tom Brady. Game-worn jersey patch. That is sick. What is that? Little teeny tiny bit of red fiber there. That would have been sweet if that was blood. <laughs> awesome. Uh, 134, 150. You know, that corner looks a little dinged, but uh, that's a great one to add to the PC. Super, super cool. Not expecting that. There we go. And game worn. We'll keep that right there. Awesome. Rex Grossman, I used to like him back in the day, but I was a big fan, fan of Florida football in, in high school and stuff. And Rod Smith. Man, I gotta tell John about that. We were just talking about Brady today. He's been saying for months, Brady's leaving New England, Brady's leaving New England, like even before the season ended. So we had some, some nice conversations. Um, I'll share with you guys what my conspiracy theory is, you know, if you wanna go super deep, you know, deep on this. I think Brady's going around doing all these interviews with other teams, you know, kind of learning their play, learning their systems, learning what their strategies are going to be and, and stuff, asking a bunch of these deep questions. In the meantime, 
Patriots are going to go around, try to upgrade some of the, the weapons. And I think he's going to go back to, to New England. But here's the way out of left field part. I think he's going to go back for the veteran minimum, right? And be like, all right, we are going all in, ultimate team game. Boom. We're reloaded. You know, someone like AJ Green gets cut or for things like that. Go get some weapons and go after it. Uh, likelihood of that happening, maybe like 1%, but that's the conspiracy theory that I want to stick with and promote because I think that'd be, that'd be awesome. That would throw this whole, the whole NFL on their heads upside down. Emmett Smith, Cardinals jersey. Got a Tatum Bell. This one looks gold. And it is 48 of 500. Genuine upside. It's a very subtle. Deion Branch and Brett Favre. The 2004 Fleet are being nice to us with that Brady. And that Brady is probably, I mean, it's probably like a $30 card. Um, I've looked at some of his game worn stuff before, and it's for some older things. And yeah, it's anywhere from that. You know, Twenty thirty dollar range. It's nothing super crazy, but a super cool piece to add to the collection. Uh, Chris Chambers, and there is a Tom Brady base. Go ahead and set that right next door. We got another genuine article. This is an insert. I think we got one of these uh, previously in the box, but it's kind of cool, laid out like newspaper. For those of you that are too young to know what a newspaper is, sorry. <laughs> uh, that's just an insert. Um, again. This is not a print run of 15. This is their 15 cards in this insert set. Uh, that's also very different than what you see in cards today. You know, if you were to pull a card right now that said 13 to 50, you'd be like, oh my gosh, super short print. Uh, not so much back then. Uh, Jake DeLome. And starting to stick together, come on. Ashley Lali, I think he played at Hawaii, right? Yeah, Hawaii. All right, so that was a fun little start with, with Fleer. Now let's do the, the 04 SP Authentic. I think SP Authentic is one of those ones too where rookies were kind of tough to come by. But Upper Deck is also, this is a thick pack as you can see. Upper Deck's known for having big giant fillers in their stuff. Big old chunky piece of cardboard and looks like that's what we got in this one too. Okay, we have Dominic Davis. Running back, had him on a fantasy team once or twice. Is he the dude? Did he have a different name too? I thought there was some running back for them that changed his name at some point. Uh, Tommy Maddox for the Steelers. And here we go. You could bid on a backyard barbecue with Priest Homes, part of Upper Deck Rewards. So you go scratch this off, put it in the website, collect these word points, and kind of bid on, on stuff. Not gonna throw that one because actually I don't know where Sunday's at. This thing is heavy. <laughs> it's a thick piece of cardboard. Um, and then we got a Joey Galloway for the Bucks. Nice looking card. And a Jake the Snake Plumber to go with Javon Kirks. I actually forgot that he spent time on the Eagles after leaving the Titans. So that was our 2004 stuff. Now let's move to the Topps Chrome. And this will probably end up being about a 20 minute long video. That's okay. This is fun. Come hang out, pause it, come back, do whatever you gotta do. We'll do the 09 Chrome, because I think 2010 is slightly better in terms of the class and stuff. All right, we got a John Carlson, the Seahawks. Carson Palmer. Got a Calvin Johnson and a TJ Hushman Zada. Um, I got fantasy teams named uh, with a play on his play on his name, but the Calvin Johnson. Um, this is kind of one of the inserts that's a throwback to one of the vintage cards. I uh, don't remember what that's called, but cool looking insert. All right, 2009 Topps Chrome. Pack number two, and really with some of this older Topps Chrome from these uh, these years where it's not great draft classes, you're looking for things like that, refractors, uh, but especially the, the color refractors because they're super tough to come by. 
All right. Braylon Edwards from Michigan. And we got uh, Demetrius Bird, rookie refractor. That would not great at all. There's a nice little dimple there, kind of a vertical one. But these were not numbered. Unfortunately, it didn't do much of anything, really. Uh, Jared Cook, there we go. Rookie that's been, he's found a nice little niche for himself in the NFL, even though he's constantly moved around from team to team. And uh, Ted Ginn Jr. That's that Cook over there. Take a look at it later. All right. 2010 Topps Chrome. Again, similar story. I'm a big Tebow fan, so maybe we can get a Tebow rookie in here. Otherwise, you're really looking for, for Gronk or some color, like I said. Marty Gilliard, he play. This is kind of fun, too. Guess what college they played in. He play Cincinnati? Let's see. Yeah, Cincinnati. <laughs> I don't know how some of this random stuff sits with me. Uh, this is a reprint. You will see this a lot for Vic rookies and Drew Brees rookies, so be very careful. But um, Reggie Wayne reprint. 2001 tops. Um, I believe all, I could be wrong, but all the tops Chrome rookies in 2001, I think they're numbered. So other than down here, seeing 2010 tops Chrome, um, I think if you want to tell 2001 tops Chrome rookie is a legit, I think it's numbered. Uh, Rennie Curran, Curran, oh, and Patrick Willis. All right, I can still feel some of the, the dust residue on this guy. Didn't wipe that one down good enough. And there were still packs left. Who knows? Maybe I'll go back and, and get some more uh, at some point here. Ladanian Tomlinson. We had a cool insert. Tony Dorsett. Sean McCoy. Gridiron lineage. Peppers. And Tony Gonzalez. All right, last pack of the Tops Chrome. What we got going on? All right, we do have a refractor. Let's pull that one. We'll do that one last. There's Rivers. McFadden from 08, I think. Donald Driver. And refractor is a Deshaun Jackson. Cool. All right. Jumping into our certified. Let's start with 2015. This class is also turning into being a bit of a bummer in terms of the hobby. Not as bad as 2013, but uh, definitely not as hot as it used to be, given Jameis Mariota have definitely struggled. Dalton, Victor Cruz, the Salsa Dancer, Gold Team, Marshawn Lynch to 199. Get that numbered pile. Kenny Bell, rookie, 3450. And Gail Sayers. All right, 2014 certified, all oh, some thicker packs. Looking for some Jimmy G action here. Sweet to get a Jimmy G RPA, especially being in the Bay Area up here. Okay, oh, looks like a filler. Marcus Ware, Ben Tate, we do have a filler. So with that, one, two, three, see up. Ah, not enough to the right. Uh, D Ford rookie. Turned into a very nice pass rusher. Andrew Luck and Calvin Johnson. All right, another pack certified. And these were the last three packs in this box. Actually, most of these packs, it was kind of, hey, what boxes do you have that only have two, three, four left? Um, other than the top scroll, most of these were kind of the last, last packs in these boxes. So I won't always be able to go back and get more if I want. Dwayne Bowe, Andre Johnson, another filler. Here we go. Three, two, one, see ya. Oh, almost had that one. Scott Crichton, rookie for the Vikings. Breezy and Tannehill. All right, last up, last chance. And by the way, I forgot to mention, I got a really good deal on all these. Um, all these packs were probably like 100 bucks. I think for the 20 some packs I got, but also clearing some space on the shelves for, for them. Bernard Pierce, 
Rashad Jennings. Another filler. Three, two, one. See ya. Hey, there we go. Skipped it underneath. One for three. Not too shabby. <laughs> uh, Franco Harris. Morris and Deshaun Jackson. So, three fillers, but to get some number cards. All right. Now, something I'm really looking forward to, the 2010 Epics. Um, these are all thick packs. I have no clue what to expect. I don't even know how many hits are in a, one of these packs or the boxes. But it is Panini. So there's Redemptions, but I believe this was definitely before points existed. These packs are thick. Probably with fillers. Okay, I think I've seen these before, but I definitely have not opened them. Ocho Cinco, Shard Mendenhall, got a Rogers, throw that in the Rogers pile. Got a Wes Welker for the Pats. That's what the backs look like. Another filler, what, four straight fillers? Three, two, one. Ooh, too much air on that one. <laughs> uh, Taylor Mays from USC for the Niners. These numbers are not, or these rookies are not numbered. Marshawn Lynch, Nate Burleson, and Steven Jackson. All right, I don't really know what I'm doing with these piles here. I started kind of with a strategy and then it didn't really turn out. It's generally what I do. Starts to start making piles, throwing them in piles. All right. Next pack. We have another Welker, Cutler, Kevin Cobb, Kyle Orton, another filler, three, two, one, ooh, too far to the right, that one didn't curve as much, Riley Cooper rookie, he had a couple decent years for the, uh, for the Eagles, Roethlisberger, Stafford, and Laurinaitis, who was a beast at linebacker. I don't even know the price points on these on this box back in the day when it came out. These were cheap packs or expensive packs. I'm assuming they were relatively affordable for the price point. Cadillac Williams, Matt Castle, Flacco, Edwards, another filler to watch me embarrass myself. Here we go. One, two, three, see ya. Try it a different way. Oh, nice. Slid right in. Ed Dixon for the Ravens. He has never been able to stay healthy in his career. But had a ton of talent. Die, Portis, and Rennie Mal. Very cool. Last pack. Let's see if we can get lucky enough to get a hit. Um, additionally, going into random hobby packs like this, never expect hits, especially in older stuff when maybe it was only one hit per box. Ah, another filler. Um, ooh, got some shinies back there, though. Hushman Zada, Rich Jones Drew, Matt Ryan. Pierre Thomas, and I think we might keep that filler where it is. Just pull from the back. Ryan Grant, mainly because it looks cool and I don't know what kind of stuff they got going on. Sproles, I don't know if those are the rookies, the parallels, Cribs, and oh, by the way, if you're a Josh Cribs fan, go check out my, my Com C store, uh, Dave's Cards 32. I think I got a, a, a green parallel from like prestige or something to, to five of his. I don't remember if it's rookie or not, but go check it out. So quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Pretty cool was Mark Brunel. David Garrard, Epics. Epic Seasons? Is that numbered? Ah, oh, bummer. Not numbered, but kind of cool looking. Nice little insert. All right, time to throw that filler. Three, two, one, see ya. Oh, almost got it to roll in. All right. Now the probably best value here, 2012 Prism. Stuff is tough to find. Parallels are super tough. I think there are die cuts and stuff. Really would be looking for a Russell Wilson's really kind of the, the biggest name out of here now. All right, and Domicon Sue, Cam Newton. Donald Brown, got a little stickiness going on there. Rookie of the Michael James. Yep. 
Chad Greenway for the Vikes, and Frank Gore. Now the only thing I can hope for with this 2012 Prism, I'm not expecting an auto like I said, but it would be nice to get a color parallel because I probably ended up buying half the box between the few random rips that we've done of this and uh, did not get any color parallels. Green Ellis, Peyton Hillis, Brennan Carr. Hey, Kirk Cousins rookie. Not too shabby, especially being a Vikes fan. Said that over there. Colston and Bradford. Um, I'm also hoping maybe we can just hit a Brady base. These Brady bases do well, like seven to 10 bucks, I think I looked them up. His first prism, if you get a hollow, that's crazy money. But I think a, I think a, even a graded Brady base, if you spent 20 bucks to grade it, probably get you 100 to $150. Um, I would imagine it's low, low pop. Uh, Blank Gabbert, Joe Hayden. Rookie Impact, RG3. Brandon Taylor, rookie. Mike Williams, and Denarius Moore. All right, two packs left. Let's go. This one feels slightly thinner than this one. Don't know if that means anything. But in case it does, we'll save it for last. All right. Whoa, we are coming up on 21 minutes. That's okay. This is fun. I'm sure you've fast forwarded as well in case you uh, got bored. Greg Jennings, John Beeson, Ricky Impact, <laughs> Matt Khalil for the Vikes, Kendall Reyes, is he still around? Uh, Santonio Holmes, and Michael Griffin. All right, saving the best for last. Get that last pack mojo. And look, you can actually see from these packs, fingers are still getting dirty. Got to wear those gloves when opening an opening prism. It's okay. Anything I do pull that's nice and great will get wiped down. Beanie Wells, Vaughn Miller, Tori Smith, Benny Curry rookie, Pierre Garçon, and future Hall of Famer Troy Palomalu. So there you go. There you have it. That was our random hobby pack opening. Best thing we got. Boom. Right there, Tom Brady game used with what looks to be a little red speck of fiber, but we'll just pretend it's blood because that'd be super cool. Um, but uh, as always, thanks for checking out the channel. Like, subscribe, tell a friend, and we'll catch you next time. See ya!